Right, we've lost those brews. This is what got us into the paranormal. So, right, Cal, what's your stories? So, my main story is that in my house, a couple of years ago now, when my nan had passed away, there was, well, she left my sister, a jewelry box that had no batteries in. <clears throat> it's the one with the little dancing ballerina. And one night, it just randomly went off on his own, no batteries, nothing. But at the same time, my sister also seen a woman when all white, just walking across the landing, just in a gang. Then, yeah, just caught an orb in her room on top of that. So it was definitely uh, an interesting one for sure, that. Which made me believe in that just ten times more. So, something I've seen, <clears throat> which I tell everybody and they think I've gone crazy. <clears throat> but I tell everybody that there was one night, I think I was 13 at the time, I was let down in the bath and I felt just a sudden urge to just sit up and stare at my towel that was on a railing. So you had the towel that was on the railing by here and a wall here. And I had an intense urge to just keep staring. I could not take my eyes off of it. And a couple of minutes passed and it just got strong. I could not take my eyes off of it and it got stronger and stronger. And all of a sudden, wham, a towel went flying off of the railing and hit the wall and it dropped. And me <laughs> being in complete shock, <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, that laughing happened. So I led back down in the bath. Wow. So oh, man. that was, yeah, that was something I can't explain now until, you know, still until the day. Mm. What about you, Rob? I've had multiple ones, but the main one was, well, wow. me, uh, me and my brother Matthew, uh, when we were oh, <clears throat> 12, 13. I was too busy on a uh, game or something like that. Game or something like that. Well. <laughs> what do you see? Is that something? Give me a gas. God, continue. But, uh, yeah. Basically, we were 15, 14, something like that. And uh, I was just looking at the TV. Suddenly, my brother just said, uh, just look under the door for some reason. And I looked. And all you seen was slow ass like shadow footprints. Cause yeah. We were like, we were looking at it. We were like, no way. Okay. And uh, yeah, we looked and we opened the door. No one was there. We looked into the into like the bathroom. Yeah, we sprinted downstairs. I was falling down. <laughs> it was mad. It was very strange because you could see the feet like that. And yeah. It turns to the right and it walks into the bathroom where the bathroom door is shut. You literally can't hear no sounds or anything. Nothing. And um. We looked at each other, we thought, nah, and we ran. Yeah. Well, first of all, we opened up the door, and yeah. it was pitch black in there, there was nobody in there. Mm. That's when we ran. <laughs> That's when we ran. We ran downstairs, almost fell down there as well, by the way. Yeah. That was, uh, yeah, my voice is dying in there, though. What was the experience <laughs> that you and Cal had at the house, who I think Cal was at the time? Oh, the big, really when we had, insane. yeah, when we had pad on the floor, and, uh, yeah, we, for some reasons, we put pad on the floor. Went back up like the next day, and all we seen was like a baby's footprint. Yeah, I'll, mean, I'll try and find the photo. I'll, yeah, I'll put that on the screen yeah. right yeah. now. And uh, yeah, it's yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, when I seen that, I was like, fuck, that's a fucking footprint, footprint there. Yeah, think, that like, was bonkers. Well, two of the crazy ones we had up there was definitely the one with the keys. The, the keys, I don't know if we told you, have we? It's, yeah, we, me and, like, no one was out, no one else was in the house. Me and Cal were upstairs. Doors were locked, weren't they? Do, yeah, doors were locked, <laughs> doors and locked, nothing, shut, nothing could have been, that, nothing could have been done. So we was just sat up there, and all we hear was keys rattling. Like, and <laughs> turns out we walked down there, and turns out, yeah, it got flown across. Like, it, I Literally even tested flat. it as well, so, like, I just moved it, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Cause, like, it yeah, wouldn't yeah. have gone as far the, as it would. Yeah, basically, it was, like, on the countertop, like, that. when we went down, it landed, like, across the floor over there. Like way far, like, it was long. It was mad. <sighs> there was something at that old house. Oh, there was something. I miss it. That might be, maybe, maybe we can investigate our old house because there was something I there. I don't want to be able There to. was many, many times. I mean, I've seen the spirit of my our old dog Charlie. Um, I, I've seen him, and you can see right, right through him. I don't mad, but like, what the. F There was many, many instances where we had paranormal activity at our old house, Lock Villa, in Vagan. There was, I seen the apparition of our 
dog. That was crazy. Um, I've seen many. I was led in bed one night, and all that I could picture, like in my mind, it was like someone shuffle, shuffling through files, and you could see the files, and you could see like my memories that I lived, and there was like a figure behind it. So if you picture like a figure here, and going through, it was so so strange. And I was no. screaming in my head, I was screaming, get out my head, get out my head. And I woke up and I was waiting for my parents to come in, but they never did. What? Do you know, I was like that, well, not similar situation, but it's more of like a unexplainable, but more of a funny one with your shoe. Oh, yeah. Because, <laughs> like, go on. My shoe got flown. Like, we, we, me and Carl were downstairs ready to go to the shop, like the car. Yeah. And all we did from above, like, you like know, the conservatory? Shoe. Yeah, all we it was, poof, and we were like, what the? Like, yeah, it was like, and we, 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 yeah, we walked upstairs, and my shoe was on top. Well, it was like, we walked up, because he was going to get his shoes on, yeah. ready to go to the co-op, like, and he couldn't find his one shoe, looked everywhere, all the windows shut, you know, went into this one room, the window now was unlocked, opened, with a shoe on the roof, on the conservatory. How do you like, explain this? Like, because obviously you had to push it in, yeah. twist it. But that was fully shut when we last looked. There was something there. There was many, many times where I had nightmares. I had nightmares constantly. I swear I used to do a bat thing over there. I didn't do nothing. If there was something, we know how to get that mic. Oh, yeah. There, I would have caught it. But there was, many, the wind, but there was many, many nightmares I had there. And I can't, I can't explain it. I think it even altered my mood as well. Because I was, I was a bit cruel to you back when I was younger. Remember? Oh yeah, I know that. Wait, <laughs> wrestling me every random no, time? No, 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 no. Way, way, way cooler than that. <laughs> Wait, this guy used to come up and just ran, randomly want to bloody WWE me. <laughs> no, 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 that's way, way, way meaner. Which I'm sorry for. But, yeah, no, it's something I still think of now. And I think of, why the fuck did I say that? Like, it was mean. It was very mean. And uh, I don't think that was me. I think there was something there that was bad. Oh, you're squeaking bit, aren't you? Do is maybe try to summon whatever the fuck rock filler. There's something there. Come on. Do it by you? Or do you mean they? We could do it here. If. <clears throat>